I'm John Dennis, and I'm running for supervisor in District 2. San Francisco is an amazing place. I've had the good fortune to have lived in several cities around the world and in the United States. I'm grateful to call San Francisco home. I've lived in District 2 for 27 years, and the district has been largely wonderful. In recent years, though, as you've no doubt noticed, things have changed. We've always had a few homeless, but the numbers have exploded. Our family has found people doing drugs in our outdoor utility closet, and people will have walked into our house while we slept. My family has seen the crisis firsthand, just like you have. And then there's property crime. Like you, we've had our cars broken into, packages stolen, bikes, and other things taken from our garage. Housing costs are driving people out of the city. Housing policy in San Francisco is contributing to homelessness. Mass transportation is unappealing and unreliable. Our roads have potholes. Meanwhile, projects like Van Ness Avenue go on and on and on. The streets are littered all too frequently with hypodermic needles. All these areas of failure, homelessness, property crime, housing, transportation, just street cleanliness have one thing in common. They are all owned by City Hall. The residents of the district are not responsible for any of these issues. We, the residents, go to work, pay the taxes, go about living our lives trying to be good neighbors and decent human beings. We entrust City Hall with the power to solve problems. They have failed. In fact, they have not only failed, they've made matters worse. Our great city is a magnet for, for admirers who visit and for talent who come to work here from all around the world. The visitors come for the physical beauty, the culture, the weather, the history, the charm. We inspire them to live well. Our businesses and tech and other industries come here to build the future. And not just the future of San Francisco, but the future of the world. The private sector in San Francisco is world-class 21st century. The public sector, City Hall, has made our commons and our infrastructure third world 19th century. The good news is that there is always hope. Hope that our problems have reached bottom and that the people who choose to guide this city's government's activities have the will and ability to resolve these issues so that we can live our lives without fear of harm or loss. I was born in Jersey City, New Jersey. My dad was a longshoreman, my mother a city hall clerk and Democratic committee woman. We lived in a public housing project. I was lucky enough to get a small scholarship to a Jesuit prep school. I went on to put myself through Fordham University in the Bronx, and while there, I was elected student body president. In college, I met my business partner, and we started Human Scale, a company today known mostly for office seating. I was a sales manager at 21 building teams. I moved to Europe and built distribution channels across the continent. Eventually, I was responsible for all activities for our company outside of North America. In all, I've lived in six countries and done business in 35. I currently serve on national boards for political organizations and for companies. My wife, 12-year-old daughter, and I live in our dog Augie's house in Pacific Heights. My experience is unique by most measures and I think unique compared to those who have served on the Board of Supervisors. None of our current supervisors has private sector experience, an astonishing fact. So here's what I want to do. I want to end the nonsense in city government. We will knock off the budgeting shenanigans and the antics at the board. We'll make sure that the money taken from San Franciscans and our visitors through taxation is used well and without corruption. We are a generous, intelligent, creative, caring, successful people here in District 2. We deserve better. If you honor me with your vote, I will take on the challenges at City Hall and push back against the machine. I will work amicably with my colleagues, but take on the fights that will inevitably arise from conflict over how to resolve critical matters. Let me finish by offering this. If I fail to deliver safer, cleaner streets, if I fail to reduce homelessness by at least half in District 2 in my first term, I will not seek re-election. I will post each goal on my website, and you can judge to your satisfaction whether I have accomplished what I set out to do. If that is a deal between us, then I would be honored if you will make me, John Dennis, your first choice vote for supervisor in District 2.